This is the King James Slave Trade Bible. Now, the King James Version, I know it's a slave trade Bible, but for whatever reason, it has more black history, authentic black history, than modern Bibles that are trying to expunge us out of the record of Scripture to insert white characters where Ham's descendants are. Ham's son's names were counted and kept in Hebrew as Cush. In English, it should have been translated Ethiopia. Ham's second-born son's name is Mizraim in English that the British should have been translating it into. It would have been Egypt. Ham's third son's name is Foot. In e English, his name is Libya. But they kept Ham's son's Cana named the same because Cana was cursed to be a slave of slaves to his brothers, who were what? These African men, whose countries, by the way, exist on our maps today. These are Noah's grandsons, Ethiopia, Libya, Egypt. These are the grandsons of Noah. But since people of European descent wanted to change the word of God, it set the world back. And that's why we have evolution today. And they consider the story of Noah a myth when the Bible states that Egypt is called what in the Bible? Egypt is called the land of Ham, the father of the African race, the father of Ethiopia, the father of Libya, and the father of Cana, son of Ham. So that's why you need this book the complete history of blacks in the Bible, because biblical black history unmasks Eurocentric Christianity's great white hoax. It's available on Amazon.com. But I want to show you something, because they are expunging black history in modern Bibles that they call the Better Manuscripts, the NIV. Stands for New International Version. I want you to turn, if you will, to Genesis chapter 2, verse 13 in your King James Bible. And it has black history there for you outlined. Let me read it to you in the, let's go back to it, 1611 edition. And it's still in modern versions today. As long as you get, don't get the new King James, it changes Bible doctrine. But it states here that the name of a river coming out of Eden was Gihon, the same as it that encompasses, which means surrounds, the whole land of, what's that word? Ethiopia. Where's Ethiopia at? In Africa. It's in Africa. It's in Africa. It's the name of son of Ham's firstborn son. Okay, Cush is his name in Hebrew. Now this is what it states in the English Bible, written, translated by English men. Okay, now... In the better manuscripts, in the NIV Bible, New International Version, they change it on you to expunge your black history, our black history. It says uh, the name of the second river is Gihon. It winds through the entire land of, oh, why did they change it from Ethiopia when they're supposed to be making the Bible readable, readable for the common man to Cush, a Hebrew word. They kept it in Hebrew. Why do these English Bible translators in modern times, what was this NIV Bible translated? What year? Let's see. It's been 1984. So they're expunging black history out of our Bibles, okay? And then we have the, the Message Bible. Again, let's go to the, to the King James Slave Trade Bible that ironically has more black history in it than any other Bible version where the Bible says to remove not the old landmarks which your fathers have set, but these people are, we got the better manuscripts. Oh, no, 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 you don't. Their manuscripts come out of Egypt. The Bible says, woe unto those who go down to Egypt for help. The King James comes from Antioch where they were first called Christians and they used the authentic word of God. Here we go. The uh, origin, which was a polluter of scripture, was the one who was doing a lot of Bible translating in um, in perversion, uh, perverting scriptures in Egypt, North Africa. So we're going to go to, here again, it says that the Genesis 2, 13, one of the rivers of Eden, 
that surrounded the land of Eden, which was in Ethiopia. So the Garden of Eden started in Ethiopia. Go to your, Google it up on your uh, maps, images, the Garden of Eden. White people do not show you that the Garden of Eden began in Ethiopia. They show you uh, Mesopotamia, which is in Iraq. Now the Garden of Eden was there, but that was the latter part of the Garden of Eden. The first portions were in Nubia, which means...